Nigeria now importing fuel from Niger Republic as Egypt and Algeria build 13 refineries. Neighboring Niger Republic, which started commercial oil production in 2011, now export petroleum products to Nigeria as Egypt and Algeria lead African operations with 13 refineries. Both countries, Egypt and Algeria, have combined capacity of 1.4 million barrels per day. For decades, Nigeria's three major refineries have been grounded to near-zero capacity utilization, with all of its refined fuel imported from other countries. Data exclusively obtained from the African Refineries and Distributors Association, ARA, revealed that strong refinery performance in Niger meets local fuel demand and excess production exported to Nigeria, Mali, and Burkina Faso. The continental body also raised concern over importation of dirty fuel into Africa and predicted health and environmental challenges unless refineries upgrade to meet sustainable development goals and enable export of white product. While the total budgeted oil revenue for 2019 was 3.73 trillion naira, statistic from the Petroleum Product Pricing Regulation Agency, PPPRA, show that Nigeria spent 3 trillion naira on 18 billion litre imports of premium motor spirit, PMS. Government was said to have paid as much as 1 trillion naira every year to subsidize consumption, a serious foreign exchange challenge to the country. As the country struggles to get its refineries working and to attract foreign investment to the downstream sector of the oil industry, Niger has built a single 20,000 barrel per day refinery with configuration for local markets. The facility is currently turning out liquefied petroleum gas, 7% gasoline, 13% and diesel, 61% to enable its optimized stranded crude supply. At a time, politics has continued to becloud Nigerians' turnaround maintenance in refineries with billions of dollars going down the drain. Niger built its refineries in less than three years, pushing utilization from zero to about 90% in 2019. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, had boasted that Nigerians' four refineries had combined capacity of 445,000 barrels per day and had gulped more than 148 billion in the last 13 months, processing less than 40,000 metric tons of crude oil. As of 2013, Nigerians' refinery were producing 113,524 tons of gasoline, 217,222 tons of diesel, and more than 20,000 tons of bottled liquefied natural gas for domestic use per year, a report quoted by Wikipedia noted. But the refineries in 2018 alone made a total loss of $132.5 billion a 39% increase from the 95.9 billion naira loss incurred in 2017. At a time, Nigerians are facing impact of government's deregulation policy with continual increase in pump prices. Kangra revealed that eight refineries with combined capacity of 782,000 barrels per day and five processing plants had placed Egypt as Africa's largest refinery hub. Against the poor management of Nigerians' own refineries, the refineries in Egypt as state oil as total national capacity utilization stood at around 71% in 2019. The crying continuous dependency on importation amid dismissal performance of refineries, industry players have insisted that Nigeria had no alternative than to rehabilitate its refineries. They backed the move for the NNPC to revive the Port Harcourt refinery, stating that it was the only solution, especially as its assets could become scrap should other private refineries come on board. Former management staff at the NNPC, Diran Fawib, noted that the burden of subsidy and importation of fuel, despite Nigeria's leading position in crude oil production, as shameful. According to him, rehabilitating the refineries remained in the best interest of Nigeria, adding that the asset could be as good as scrap if other private companies begin operation. A former Director General, West African Institute for Financial and Economic Management, 
and Professor of Economics and Public Policy, University of Uyo, Akban Ekbo, had also told the Guardian that the nation's refinery must be commercialized, stressing that the poor performance of the asset was a national disgrace and setback to Nigeria's development. According to him, the Buhari administration must call for a deep discussion to ensure immediate blockage of all leakages coming from the facilities. So much money has gone into the refineries, and this has been a long-standing problem. The entire oil sector had to be revamped. The losses are real, so we should commercialize all the refineries as we cannot continue this way, Ekbo said. Chief Executive Officer Mudame International Limited and Mudame Welding Institute Limited, Sonny Erumosele, also argued that leaving the assets in private hands remained a viable solution for the refineries. Erumosele, who noted that the lingering challenge was surmountable, added that keeping the assets in government's care would limit the need to diversify the economy from oil. He alleged that the NNPC's perpetual interest in the refineries was an indication that the corporation was using them to divert public funds into private pockets. We need to privatize the refineries. Those refineries are only a way of funneling money into private pockets. We need to channel the money into economic diversification, he added. Well, guys, it's, it's quite a shame right now what is happening to our economy. Um, Nigeria is now importing fuel from Niger Republic as Egypt and Nigeria, they, they built um, 13 refineries. What is happening to our own refinery, our own oil sector, we are going down. It's not as though we don't have it. Poor management and um, this corruption we're talking about is still all centered around, around corruption. You heard it, how um, it's been alleged that some um, staff of the NNPC are just diverting funds that are meant to um, um, revamp and that are meant to... Uh, uh, um, Overhaul the, the oil sector, they are diverting them into their pockets. It's so sad. Buhari's administration, this is all we get from his administration. Anyway, guys, um, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Drop us your take and your thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, guys, um, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Show us some love. Hit on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Click on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Till I come your way again for now. It's bye for now and remain blessed.